Media. Quick tips. Welcome to the Media channel. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how easy it is to create a beautiful video text transition like this. Zooming through a text cutout to reveal your video below on Sony Vegas Pro. So let's go. OK, so this is the background I'm using for this demo. Some nice swaying palm trees. Now there's nothing on the audio track, so for the purposes of clarity, I'll just remove it. First, we'll need another track for the text. So I'll just come up here to Insert and choose Video Track. Now, right-click on the track and choose Insert Text Media. And simply insert the text you want to use. In this case, Relax. For this effect, the chunkier the text is, the better. So I'm going to bolden it and for good measure change it to a chunky font like Impact. Now the letters are nice and chunky, but they look a bit bunched. So I'll just adjust the tracking. There, that's more like it. The next thing we need to do is add a zoom effect to the text. So click on the Event Pan Crop tool here. Make sure the cursor is on the very first keyframe. And check that the Sync Cursor button is on. This just makes sure that what you do with the cursor here is reflected on the timeline. OK, so we'll move the cursor down the timeline about a second or so and click on here to create a keyframe. When the edit is running, because these two keyframes are the same, nothing will change, allowing the text to establish itself in the eyes of the viewer. And for a more pleasing effect, right-click on these keyframes and change them to Smooth Type. Right, now we need to move the cursor right to the end of the text clip and add another keyframe. And now we're going to drag the frame in until it's completely contained within the middle letter. And if you need a closer view, you can scroll in using the wheel on your mouse. There, as you can see, the screen is now completely obliterated by the middle letter. So now we can shut the Pan Crop tool. If you now run the edit, you should see the zoom effect as it moves from one keyframe to the next. Now for the magic. Change the compositing mode of the text track by clicking here and choosing Multiply Mask, which makes the background black and the text transparent. So far, so good. But there is a problem. As the cursor leaves the text, the screen goes black because of its compositing mode. To fix this, add another video track. Now place the cursor right on the end of the text track. Click over the cursor on the video track to select it and press S to split it. Now drag the second half of the clip to the top track, above the masked track. Run the edit and you can see it run seamlessly into the top clip. And that's it, the effect is complete. Just select, render to video, and this is what you get. Well, that's your lot. If you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos as they come out. This has been a Media Quick Tip, and I have been William Hugh.